Hello, 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 everyone. This is Wall Crawl continuing our All Achievements Hollow Knight guide. And we're about to go to the worst place ever. And the next few videos are going to be us navigating the wonderful, wonderful world of Deep Nest. And Deep Nest is a pain in the butt. And I try to get everything done there. Um, in just several back-to-back -back videos, so you don't gotta go back. Um, yeah, so, anyway, that's where we're headed today. So first we're just gonna backtrack out of here. We don't really need anything else. We've handled Markov, and we want to go and to the King's Station bench. Kill these guys. And it's not too hard to get out of here. Just dash across. Hippity hop up. I almost fell. Are you still in that pipe corner of her? You are still in here? Okay, sorry guys, I'm wasting time. Just want to see corner of her, right? Hang out. Have a good time with him. He's honestly the happiest guy so far that we've met outside of Mila, but she went crazy, so that's kind of different. And we're almost back. We're almost back. We're almost back. All right, now I'm going to head up to the stag station right here. You don't need to head up because... Um, but I'm going to. And I'm going to sit on this safety bench right here. And from here, we are going to be going to Queen Station. Oh my goodness, I went the wrong way. I pushed the button too fast. Okay, just a quick little ride there and uh, actually go to Queen's Station. So, I just wanted to spend some time with the the old stag. All right. And we're going to make our way out. Let me make sure I have the right uh, charms. The charms that I like. Yeah. I'll go with that. That's fine. All right. Hippity hopping up. And we're going to the right. To the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. Okay, and where we're going to work our way down is uh, down and then into the, um, the Mantis Village. So, kind of right where we got Mantis Claw. All right, going this way. Just exit to the right here. And we're going to go downward. Ow. And heading this way. Bonky, bonky. All right, they're bowing to us. They're not too bad. Very easy to navigate through. Fall just straight through here and on down. It's so much easier with these mantises when they're nice to you. So, after you, it's cool to have that little reward after beating the mantis lords themselves. Okay, so we go into the mantis village. And then we actually go downward to where we fought the mantis lords themselves. So just go down, down, into the mantis lores. So, all the way down here, falling all the way. Okay. Gotta kind of zigzag a little bit. And there they are. I always take a, do the respectful bow thing. And it has reset, so... Going ahead and uh, before we head into the, the wonderful world where we're going, 
um, we're uh, gonna go ahead and get those life blood. Now, this next set of videos, we're going into deep nest, and deep nest is by far my least favorite area. It is certainly cool, but it's kind of frustrating because um, it's it's you can get really easily lost in deep nest. So I'm gonna go um, right up here and uh, to the left and we're the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to get a map now here's corner fur he didn't drop his little pages he's not singing his little song he feels about the same way about deep nest as i do so we talk to him and we're like sure we'll buy a map he gives it to you real cheap and the reason why is because quite honestly his map sucks so he has this much of his of the map which is not a lot cornifer so you hop down and we continue this direction to the left all right we're gonna go ahead and kind of creep up the wall and go this way now you got all these like train looking uh I think they're called garpedes or something like that. But um, I do think they're super cool. But um, anyway, it is... Uh, they, they are a problem. And you just can't see very much in front of you. These got these things like pop out of the ground all the time. You got to be ready for them. And uh, things like that. It's just... It's an absolute pain. But I'm trying to do it the guide to where you can get everything done and you're not gonna have to come back so that's my hope at least so kind of zigzag through here always watch out for these little white bugs that pop up now and get you all right going up and now there's this little secret right here in the corner you wouldn't know it, but you hop up here and oh, looky, looky. What? He just go back down? That like never happens. Anyway, watch out for these little spider bugs. It stinks that you have to hit them more than once unless you're doing a nail art. But uh, what do I get hit by? Oh, well, deep nest sucks. We'll just go ahead and say that. And then you can see the little glow of the uh, the thing we're after. And it is our next collection in the Hollow Nest Seal um, saga. So now we've got a, a, another one of those things. And we're, we've collected a whole bunch of them. Just because you've killed them doesn't mean they do not come back in a particular area. Now stay up this way. And then we're going to head downward now that we crack the floor. All right. Head to the left. And we're going to be falling downward. Sliding down the wall. Sliding down the wall. Man, that's super weird. I don't really remember him jumping back down. But uh, now we're going to go down, down. And gonna head a little bit this way. All right. Okay. And heading back. All right. Breaking stuff. I mean, like, stuff just, like, falling out, out from under you at all times. You know, there's, like, garpeeds chasing you. You basically have to create the map. You look over there and you're like, hey, it's me. What am I doing down there? And uh, it's not you. You'll get to meet that guy in a minute. It'll be a little bit, though. So we're going to hippity hop. No. I thought there was something up there, but uh, there's not. Ow! Okay, I thought I was about to get bit by a garpede. All right. I'm going to check all these little tunnels, you know, as we go. Getting money, falling into spikes. You know, like you do when you're in deep nest. 
that's like part of the brochure all right so i'm gonna fall down in here i'm gonna fall all the way and man is this this looks way better a nice change of scene you're gonna hop up here and definitely feel like you can sit and chill on the bench all right now you're gonna hop up and you're gonna head back this direction to the left oh wait no 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 okay my my bad man deepness it's not my favorite so we're going to the right all right back into like this little training station thing and um and go up and kind of zigzag through these little trains and uh, as soon as they kind of pass you can jump you i could go all the way up and get that little money but i'm gonna go up and then up again not much time there and then up into this little pocket okay now hopping up all right and what we've got here is an opportunity to do kind of a little obstacle course and you go across and there we are it's it, it does kind of stink you gotta like uh let me see if i can do that again i can't but you just kind of keep pogoing this stupid garpede and then when you get to the the kind of column of stuff You'll, you'll, ah, guys, can you stop coming down here? You'll jump back and dash through the spikes. Then you have to be ready to get a real rhythm for pogoing. So I'm going to have to do that again. So just like kind of really find a rhythm. So pogo, 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 pogo. It's like Jaws. Pogo, pogo, pogo. Okay. And keep doing that. And it, it's one of those things that, it doesn't it's not the easiest break this wall but once you start to get into a rhythm of it it feels a whole lot better if you get too close to dying you can um you know you can head back to the bench but kind of stinks on this guy you're just gonna keep spamming this hit button and it's gonna push you higher 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 and then you'll go to the left and say haha you can um dream nail them so and that could build all your soul back up and uh so you can totally recover if you were really hurting so the the ones that go to the side uh, you can't really do that on but that one totally gives you a chance to reheal all right and here you go and you get your vessel fragment we only need one more of those there's only one more vessel fragment in the game so head back this way we at least don't have to go back the same way we came and um they kind of let us out a different way by breaking the floor all right and we're going to navigate back the way we came now that we got a reward of that sweet sweet vessel fragment and zigzag this way and fall to the right and fall down and up and this way and go down and we're gonna fall in this little hole Doo. okay it's a little more peaceful we're gonna step in here and then what is these this is a dead one of those garpedes that's like the train bugs and um so now you, you need one of these for your hunter's journal that's the only way to get one so you want to go ahead and do that oops no nah, i don't need it right now um all right now we have the shade cloak we can get through this and we can navigate this little uh, obstacle course thingy my bobber to get um, a charm so you have to have the shade cloak in order to hop through and and warp through these uh gomes or whatever they're called so it's not too difficult you just you know uh wait till there's just one and then you can dash through in safety this part's a little more difficult but, but if you get hit just keep moving i'll probably get hit so here we go and dash and dash see didn't make it i got hit but um 
we're all right. And then you come right here and you pull off sharp shadow from this thingy mabobber. It's like one of those things you get soul from. Sharp shadows are, it's a really fun charm. It's a really good charm. What it does is when you dash, it lengthens your shade dash to a little longer. And it also, um, the dash actually hurts your enemy. It will not gain you soul, but it hurts your enemy. So it's fun, but I abandon it because, um, ow, because it's not something you can use really in later game. There's there's just better options, but um, and you kind of get used to it, and you have to unlearn your familiarity with Sharp Shadow. It certainly is, again, I've said it several times, fun. So I would give it a try. Oh, and here we're back. Nice and relaxing. Definitely feel free, again, to sit on this bench and relax upgrade your map and now this time we're gonna head on to the left now these bugs you hit and you kill them and then some of these guys are just dead just dead others of them fall over they're a corpse and then after a period of time they morph into another bug I don't think he's gonna but we will certainly see one that does now right here at this little thing I'm gonna go ahead and crystal heart to the left that puts you right here at a wall that you can crack through and enter into this area seems like a secret and um, that's another thing to break but first we want to save this little grubby golly he must be scared you know just stuck in deep nest hidden behind two walls like, no thank you. I mean, being in a jar is bad enough. All right. Now we're just kind of... Ooh, it's me again. Um, We're going to follow me. Now, follow that little guy that looks just exactly like me. And this feels like there's a whole bunch of places you can go and get lost, but there's really not. It's kind of streamlined. And you just have to keep moving just about the only way you can. So you can stop and get some money, but just keep going. And I guess he weaseled his way through there. It's me again. Golly, I love me. Oh. All right, just checking walls and stuff like that. You can go back. Man, no, no, no. Here's some money down here. I want to get it. Pop, pop. Pop, it, pop, pop. I forgot a few dollars over there, but that's okay. Here he goes, here he goes. Come on, come on. Don't go! Uh, okay, he got away. All right, now we're just so sure he's this way. And you're walking after him and like, come on, where, where are you? And then everything's fine until, well, what was that? I'm stuck. Oh, no. Hey, oh, what? Keep going. Woo. And you're just like, it's just like sealing you in. So whether you wanted to or not, there's you. And you are not what you seem. That is actually the Nosk, and you can see his prey all around and stuff like that. So, did a good job of of killing things. So, thanks for watching. In our next video, we'll take down the Nosk. We'll get a great reward. It's gonna be good. So, stick with me through Deep Nest. Let's get out of here alive, and um, hit me up with some comments, some likes, some subscribes. See you next time.